Now I'm also going to show you guys a video of them eating. I'm going to show how I feed my young guys and how I teach them to chew, how I teach them to eat in a bowl that they don't spill and make a mess everywhere because it's not fun cleaning a mess. You can actually teach a dog how to eat in a bowl very simply and very fast. Okay, um, so the raw food diet, like I said, <clears throat> has to be like an 80% meat and fat ratio, a 10% bone and 10% organ. So picture an animal or a dog or a wolf or a coyote killing an animal, okay? So say a rat, a rabbit, uh, maybe a chicken, a bird. If you dissect that animal, you're going to get a ratio there. You're going to get a ratio of organ meat, you know, whole prey. You're going to get whole animal. You're also going to get roughage. You're going to get feathers. You're going to get fur, which is all good for intestinal tract of a dog. Um, so when you think about it like that, it's common sense. It's not really like, wait, all this mumbo jumbo. This is common sense. A wolf, coyote, what do they do? They kill an animal. They eat it whole. That ratio there is basically what a rabbit is comprised of. You know, uh, a rabbit, uh, a chicken, maybe a wild bird, a duck. I mean, you're going to get a ratio there. You're going to get a ratio of bone, organ meat, fat, uh, muscle. And that ratio is around approximately 10% of bone, 10% of organ, and 40% meat and fat, 80% somewhere in between there in that fat and the muscle ratio. Keep that in mind. Also, when they eat these animals, they also ingest what a rabbit eats, you know, vegetables, decomposed, uh, fermented uh, grass. You know, grass is not necessarily bad for dogs. Vegetables aren't necessarily bad for dogs, you know. So when they eat these, they actually get, um, you know, some of the vitamins from the, from, the, from the grass or from whatever the animal's eating vegetation-wise. So the idea that they don't eat any vegetation, they actually do. Green tripe is loaded with probiotics. It's one of the best things you could feed your dog. That's, that's loaded with a bunch of veggies in there. That's why it's green. If you get tripe and it's yellow, that animal hasn't been eating corn, you're getting tricked. Right? That's why they call it green tripe, because it's supposed to be grass-fed. A lot of these farmers, they finish the cows on grass. They don't feed the dog grass all year round. Now the composition of that grass-fed uh, cow and the, the, um, the corn-fed cow is totally different. For instance, me, I go hunting and I eat deer. When I eat deer, I automatically shred. I get really lean, my body fat count gets low, um, I don't feel tired, I don't feel, uh, you know, lazy. Why is that? Well, red meat's loaded with B vitamins, it's loaded with natural creatine, and because the animal was eating grass, it's loaded with a lot of omegas, threes, uh, six and nines, it's got all your good fats. Now when we eat the corn stuff, it's kind of crappy meat. Tastes good, kind of crappy meat. So keep that in mind. Um, uh, my majority of my diet is chicken. So I feed chicken, I feed mackerel, I feed beef, I feed rabbit, I feed basically whatever I get my hands on. Tuna, um, turkey, um, that's about it for me. Uh, tripe, a lot of tripe. Um, yeah, and, and you know, some rice here and there, some potatoes if they go bad. Sometimes I blend kale shakes for myself, broccoli, usually in the week. I'll blend a lot of stuff if I'm trying to cut weight or I'm trying to get in shape. I used to train a lot and I used to compete, uh, but now I'm just an old fart. So <clears throat> I'll blend up these greens and if they go bad and you open it, pop the top and it's fermented, I throw it on the dog stuff. I'll take a sip too. It doesn't bother me. helps my uh, immune system. But you know it's bad by the smell and you could smell like a, a fermented taste. Throw it on the dog's food. My dogs are fine. They're healthy as can be. So keep that in mind. All right. Here we've got whole chicken. That's a whole total chicken. That's what you teach a puppy to learn on how to eat. 
You've got your mackerel here. There's your mackerel. Ground beef, which would be a meat and fat ratio. Chicken wings. All right, that's going to be more bone and some fat because of the skin content. Grass-fed beef tripe, one of the best things you can feed for the stomach. Probiotic, amazing. Don't forget about that. You can also buy this in canned form if it's hard to find. It's pretty damn expensive, but you can find it. Here you got, let's see, let's zoom in here. Chicken liver. Look at the price. That's your organ. Chicken gizzard. Meat. Beef heart. Beef liver. Beef kidney. Is your organ meats here? Here's duck neck. Decent, decent meat and uh, bone ratio there. Chicken carcass, which is very cheap if you go to the right places. Uh, I usually pick up four or five of these things for a dollar fifty. Um, and this is going to have your bone. And if you got an older dog or you got a dog with hip dysplasia or any of that, this is perfect because uh, they need these tendons. Um, you know, they need the glucosamine and all that. And this is your natural source. Chicken heart. Right, there's your chicken heart. And that's basically what my diet is all about.